What's going on, y'all? This is OBB, the Diecast News Guy, and I'm bringing you guys with another brand new 2021 NASCAR Diecast review and release that just came out at your local Diecast dealers, or more importantly, at Circle B Diecast. By the way, use that promo code OBBYT to get your free shipping on orders $20 and above. But anyways, I got this from K State Diecast in one of my haul videos, and I promise you guys I'll be reviewing this thing. Got a lot of good reception on the Exalted car, and now it is on. William Byron's 2021 Liberty Biberty. I mean, oh goodness gracious, what am I saying? This ain't, damn it, Limu Nemu, you got me freaking confused. This is William Byron's 2021 Liberty University, not the car insurance, the University Chevrolet Camaro Z01 1LE 400 Motorsports. Man, what I said about the Exalta car, how they redid that paint scheme and it was kind of polarizing. Well, I didn't really have to say that about this car, guys. I mean, that Exalta car was polarizing, but freaking cool to look at. Well, this was just a much needed paint scheme, guys. I mean, the Liberty University schemes have been pretty much recycled throughout the last few years. And they finally did something new. And all I can say is, man, this thing looks pretty damn cool. In fact, I can almost mistake this for a freaking patriotic car because this thing, man, just screams America. And you know me, I love my American paint schemes. And this one is pretty damn cool. I wish the box actually uh, would match this paint scheme because we got like a nice nap of blue right here. I think a darker blue would match, but hey, whatever though. At least we got the driver's name on here, which is pretty damn cool. But anyways, enough of me just talking out of my ass like a damn Liberty Bell. Let's go ahead and kick off this diecast from the official unboxing of William Byron's 2021 Liberty University car. Alrighty guys, we got this diecast out of the box, and man, this is such a cool looking diecast, guys. Like I said in the introduction, I am so glad Liberty University decided, you know, to change up this paint scheme. A much needed change, because, you know, I was getting kind of bored with the Liberty University cars, um, especially with the primary cars, because, like, the only difference they added was just, like, a white number throughout the last few years. But they absolutely just added a lot more white to this, uh, toned down on the blue, and they added a lot more red. And it looks pretty damn cool. I like how they added the stars right here. And that's why I kind of said it kind of looks like a, a patriotic car a little bit. Because those stars alone just makes this car look pretty damn kick-ass. Um, but one thing that's not kick-ass is uh, the logo. Uh, the look at that grill placement right there. Yeah, that is completely lopsided. Oh my goodness gracious. I can't even talk English today, guys. It looks like the window is also lopsided too. So Lionel quality control as finest. You got to love that. Chevrolet logos are also not colored uh, in that gold that we all know and love. I mean, man, Lionel, man. Cutting corners, you got to love it. Uh, looks like we got a paint chip right there and some nice smudge marks right here. Um, but really cool. I mean, uh, you know, th this is a very, it looks simple, but there's some like, some cool things that are still going on. I mean, we did ditch the flames on the Exalta cars, but they still kept the flame right there on the Liberty University cars. Um, you know, I'm actually, I'm um, looking at my freaking, um, yeah, I, I, here's the, uh, the, the, uh, his first win right here from the, the Daytona, uh, rate, the, Day the Daytona night race from last year. And, you know, that, that was probably the only thing they changed. It looks like, um, you know, they kind of did push that flame back a little bit, but just look how much more better look in this paint scheme looks i mean it just looks so much better and it looks like the red is actually a lot more brighter guys the red was like a maroon and they went with like a bright red which looks so cool i mean it really and i mean really stands out i mean i don't know if they just did it on purpose and they actually changed their uh their logo colors or what but um speaking of changing colors goodness gracious the camera's trying to black out the liberty university logo i mean this ain't twitter dude what are you doing <laughs> That's pretty cool, guys. I mean, uh, when you got a sponsor like Liberty, and then you got, you know, this red, white, and blue. I mean, this thing just screams America, man. If ever comment below if any of you guys are attending Liberty University, because that'd be pretty cool. It'd be like, hey, you know, I'm in the same school William Byron's attending. So how about that? But, um, yeah, guys, I mean, and I do kind of miss all the college sponsors that we've had in NASCAR. Uh, they've been associated a lot with Henry Motorsports, I have seen. Um, you know, we've had a lot of cool university diecasts that have come out throughout the years, but... Pretty cool that Liberty University has been practically, you know, uh, William Byron's main sponsor throughout his whole career, guys. Yeah, even back in his iRacing days. I mean, like Rick Allen always says, started his career on a iRacing simulator. Uh, goodness gracious. <laughs> uh, yeah, we get it. We get it. We get it, dude. We get it. But, dude, I mean, William Byron, man. I mean, this is just a cool die cast to have in your guys' collection. And William Byron almost won in this car at Talladega, if I'm not mistaken. He finished second. Of course, Kozlowski won that race, the spring Talladega race. But I would not mind, guys. I mean, we already saw him won in the Zelta car. And I did saw him uh, ran this car at the New Hampshire race. Probably was a little bit different with the side sponsors and all that. But it was pretty cool. I mean, not as cool looking as the Zelta car. And uh, is it just me or is there too much of a space right here where the, I, I don't know, it looks like the logo placement on the Liberty University 
it looks like that doesn't look right it i mean does that look a little too low especially especially how the the mold is uh, how, how the mold where the hood is i mean could you imagine open that some bitch up oh god it'll just say university so i do not like how the liberty universe the, the liberty university wardings right there should be on the hood um because you know when you open that some bitch up it's gonna look weird uh, that's just my opinion but yeah not i mean i don't know maybe it's like that but i don't know comparing that to uh his other liberty university cars that placement does look kind of odd i mean and i think there's too much space right here where the lu is as well it should be a little more closer i don't know i just noticed that it looks kind of odd but i love the paint scheme the paint scheme looks really nice we got the exalta logo literally almost cut off right there oh lionel and we got bright red 24 right there and we got the camaro logos really nice lu which i hope that stands for you know i don't even know what acronym i can come up with that says lu goodness gracious um oh my god liberty university man i mean this is just a much needed change like i said really cool i do like this a lot and um you know like i said you could probably run this as a patriotic car when you're stop motions i mean because it, it really does look nice i mean i i want to say they took some inspiration from his patriotic car from last year i know that thing is a lot more different but i definitely do see i definitely do see where they came up with that i mean especially with the stars i mean i think the stars is kind of what gave it away um with the inspiration from last year but really nice it, it's, it's a lot more cleaned up and it's refreshing i mean that's the thing i gotta put about this car it's a very nice refreshing look i love how the goodyear logo uh, sits well with that flame i mean that right there is some nice some nice use of the goodyear logo placement because um because you know it's white it would not show up that well so i love how that flame just you know protrudes right there on the wheel well just just a simple looking die cast guys but the quality could be a little bit better but i definitely do recommend picking this up for all the uh william byron fans out there i mean i know a lot of people have a lot of controversy uh there, especially all the rumors i've heard um all the allegations i've heard about liberty university but you know we're going to keep this die cast review just specifically about the die cast if you guys want to post your comments and thoughts below about you know the die cast and if you want to talk about Liberty University, well, that's what Twitter is for, all right? Because, you know, that's the home of where cancellations will happen. <laughs> and I'm not just talking about diecast. But um, with everything aside, guys, this is a great-looking diecast. I definitely do recommend picking this up. But I definitely strongly encourage you guys to pick up the Exalted car because that thing, I think, is going to sell more than this. Oh, by the way, I think this thing has a working suspension, too. So, nice job. Lionel's quality is just, you know, E for effort. But, hey, what more can I say? But... Hopefully, we can probably see this Liberty University car win uh, someday this year. Especially with how very consistent William Byers, man. I still can't believe this guy got 11 top 10s in a row. 11. And I was at the Dover race when that streak um, kind of, I wouldn't say ended, but the race after that Dover race is where it ended. But still, it was pretty cool seeing the Henry Carson's dominated Dover. I mean, that was something that I think I'll remember in the books for sure. I mean... But that second win, I feel like it's coming very shortly, especially when the playoffs are about to be heating up very soon. Look out for this guy. William Byron is going to be due for his third career win very soon and the second win this year. But anyways, guys, this is going to wrap up the diecast view of William Byron's 2021 Liberty University. Um, not the car insurance. <laughs> uh, Chevrolet Camaro ZL1, 1 LE, 400 Motorsports. Uh, comment, like, subscribe. As Lee Moonu always says, just uh, you can save money with Liberty, Liberty, Liberty.